Hello guys, and today I'm going to um, eat um, some Christmas food in February. Now, it's currently the 5th of February, and I'm going to eat some Christmas food called Christmas Puds. Now, these are actually in date, and the expiry date is the 31st of March this year. Um, I think there are ways for these to expire, to be honest. Um, I know I like doing these kind of things, but I like expired food, but it seems a waste as I paid full price for these and um, just didn't get around to eating them at Christmas because of other things I had to eat. So, um, it says five times, which means five of, five Cadbury dairy milk chocolate balls with a truffle centre hazelnut pieces, surely they mean hazelnut pieces, um, and rice crisps, and it says hazelnut pieces, I'm pretty sure you should say hazelnut pieces to be honest, but um, there you go, um, I would say 100% sustainably sourced cocoa, so they're trying to be ethical in some way about the cocoa that they use. Um, and it's got a little section in the middle where you're meant to open up in the middle. I'm going to try to do that. I don't. I'm not doing a very good job, but I met this. They've got a sort of perforated edge. I think perforated is the right word, where you can like. If you're better than me, you can sort of pull it out. I'm not done a very good job of this, unfortunately, but there you go, something like that. There you go. So it now becomes a lid. I didn't do it as well as perhaps I could have done, but it becomes a lid. That's the nearest you can see to how it looks, and then you can open it up and get one out. Now this looks similar on the outside to. A Cadbury's cream egg, but it's not. It's a ball instead. So instead of being egg shaped, it's ball shaped. And if I open up inside and take the full wrapping off, um, by the way, it says Cadbury puds. I'll just show you another one that I haven't opened, so you can get the idea. It's also got what looks like the holly. Um, the shape of um, some holly, the holly logo, which you'll see there. For example, where my and that's associated with Christmas. It's actually green. It might look white on the camera, but it's actually green. It's got puds, and it's got little white dots to Im to imply um, snow. I'm going to put back in. So here you now it looks like it's almost like a tennis ball. It's got a little circle, almost like you'd get on a tennis ball or something. Maybe it's meant to be like a cricket ball. I have no idea what kind of ball it's meant to um, be like, but you can get tennis balls and cricket balls and things like that. And it looks like they're trying to make it a bit like that in some way. Um, It also looks like it's got a snowflake type of um, shape. Yeah, look. It's almost to give the, the snowflake shape for like Christmas, because snow is associated with Christmas over here. Pretty much. Okay, so now I'm going to try and break it open, or however, whatever you do. So I normally just eat straight into it, but I've just decided to try and pick some of it. So, I wouldn't normally do this, you normally just eat straight into it, but it's slightly hollow, so.
not sure if this is deliberate, but part of it looks hollow. I don't know if that's a manufacturing fault, or if it's genuinely meant to be like that. Um, I know I'm picking off the sides, so I'm not celebrating all of it. I haven't, I've just picked off a small amount. It's almost like an Easter egg, if you like. If you look, I've not eaten all of that, and you've seen what I've done. I couldn't have just grabbed all that from inside, so maybe they're cheating. I do not know. I managed to break it in half. So, again, this is almost like an East, a chocolate Easter egg where, you know, it's just got the side. And that. And here we've got the two halves. I don't know if it's in date, but it almost like looks like it's mouldy. So, if I didn't know any better, I would say this looks like mouldy food. I know it's not. And I'm sure Cadbury's will be very upset with me saying their um, inside of their chocolate puds, um, chocolate balls, whatever they call them, chocolate balls puds looks like mouldy food, but it really does. That's what it looks like. I'm sure it isn't. I'm quite sure it isn't in any way, but it's what it looks like. Um, so they, they call it, I think they might, they call it rice crisp. <laughs> A bit strange to me, but never mind. And for breakfast, to be honest, um, I haven't got the best teeth in the world anymore, truthfully, so. Oh my god, it is hard. It is really hard, unfortunately. I'm going to have to eat inside. I can't chew into it, I can't. I don't know, I expect people to eat this without me doing what I did. I am managing to break it up, but very, very difficult. Because it's really, really, really stiff. Okay, I need to leave them out for a while, I think, before. Mm. I won't even try and show you guys what was inside here, but it was too hard. Right, so I'm to break in some that way, so it's not so bad once it's been in your mouth for a while, but when you first put it in it's really, really, really stiff. Um, I'm claim it's got some hazelnut pieces, those are the little white dots you see, they're the hazelnuts. <laughs> I'm going to taste like some truffles, but I could be wrong, but I think truffles I've had in the past are smaller, and smaller than this. And they're actually um, melting your mouth a lot quicker. And they're not quite as stiff as these. I'm now after a while I'm able to break them. So maybe it's because I had them in the cold room. Um, I'll bring them upstairs. I don't know. Nothing cold in now, so. I think it's better and easier to make normal truffles to be completely honest with you, rather than a big ball like this. I think it'd be quite difficult to put all this in your mouth. I know that I haven't taken the wrapper off, but it probably would be able to go in there, but it's probably a bit 
uncomfortable for a while until it had actually started to melt. Will I have them again? I'm not sure, to be honest, I think I prefer the um, clean eggs and I think these kind of thing will then be available probably after Christmas but I could, um, during Christmas so I could be wrong. On the back, it shows it. It's partnering with Fairtrade Foundation, which in very simple terms means that they pay more than they need to for it. No, I'm not making this up. They pay more than they need to for it. Okay? But in return, they say they're being very ethical by making sure that the farmers... Um, grow the cocoa plant and whatever they do um, at a reasonable amount of money and reasonable wages and they're not being terribly exploited apparently um, so that's what fair trade's all about fair trade is all about paying more than you need to for things and then feeling good about the fact that you paid more than you needed to for it. It's a strange Western culture which many people find very hard to understand. Particularly as normally people try to get a bargain and pay as little as possible for something, but there you go. Um, and it also give us some sort of um, URL, bigtreatwise.net. I'm not sure if that's a real web... Um, address or if they've just um, made it up. I haven't checked to be honest and I'm probably not going to bother at the moment. So um, there you go guys. Cadbury puts um, chocolate ball. Okay. I think, as I said, it's be you're better off eating a smaller, normal truffle, to be honest, because it's easier to go in the mouth, it's easier to chew, rather than some big ball, I think. I, I will never know what it's truly like, because I broke it in half before putting it in, but I think it'd be difficult to make with just, you know, without good teeth, but never mind. It tasted okay, I'll be honest, it tasted okay. Um, I think other truffles might be better, but there you go. Um, it is supposed to be Christmas food, apparently. So, there you go, guys. I'm really eating Christmas food um, in December. Sorry, in February. Sorry, you normally we normally eat Christmas food in December and sometimes November and sometimes also just about and also something if it goes open to um, January occasionally the beginning of January but I've had it in February as well and what you've also got to bear in mind is I might maybe they call it pud for a reason around about uh, during Christmas time people can buy Christmas puddings maybe they're trying to emulate the idea of a Christmas pudding but it doesn't taste like a Christmas pudding and it doesn't even look like a Christmas pudding either but that's the only thing I can think of as to why they would call it puds Anyway guys, thanks for watching, bye!